Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the 14th video in this video series about the pressed skull fracture. A 36-year-old man referred for brain CT with headache nausea and vomiting after head trauma. In standard brain CT images, we found vasogenic edema in left temporal parietal lobes. No evidence of intracranial hemorrhage or increased intracranial pressure and midline shift. This finding suggestive of brain contusion after head trauma. In this axial bone view, there is a depression fracture in a squamous part of left temporal bone. Another view of depressed fracture in coronal view and also in sagittal view. And this is 3D volume rendering reformatted images from the skull. And we can see obvious depressed fracture in squamous part of left temporal bone and this is right side of the skull for comparison the left side. Depressed skull fractures result in the bone of the skull wallet being folded depressed inward into the cerebral parenchyma. It's usually the result of high energy impact to the skull. These fractures mostly about 75% occur in the frontoparietal region. Associated injuries with depressed skull fractures include extradural hematoma, subdural hematoma, cerebral contusion like our patient, subarachnoid hemorrhage, pneumocephalus, and CSF bleach. Radiographic features of depressed skull fractures Plain radiograph rarely undertaken, especially outside of the pediatric population. The fracture is identified due to the projection of dense bone over the skull. This lateral skull view showing increased density associated with the overlapping bone fragments of the depressed left parietal fracture and in this cone PA skull view showing the fragmented fractures lying deep to the skull wall. CT is the modality of choice in head trauma. The fracture is shown in detail along with any associated injuries like brain contusion in our patient. Indications for operative management include dural breach means increased risk if more than 5 mm depression from inner table, depression of bone fragments more than 5 to 10 mm, significant intracranial hemorrhage, frontal sinus involvement, significant wound contamination, or cosmetic deformity. And finally, pneumocephalus. Please pay attention to this final teaching point. Depressed skull fractures are associated with higher rates of infection, seizures, neurological deficits, and death. So, appropriate management and close follow-up are required. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. And thank you for your attention.